Thank you, Milk of the Great. Uh, Lindy, so my god, donut. It's Surrey Rune. Thank you. Don't this. forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at. at. Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is. is. I am Daniel. Damn, Daniel. A memento has been added to your journal. Quick access, press M. Make sure you check this whenever you get stuck. Follow liquid trail and its source. Seems a little blurry. Okay, it's fine. Everything's a little blurry though. Oh my god, it's night! What am I doing, crawling? Okay, let's cosplay Tom Cruise. We're in the closet. Okay. God, the, the wibble wobbly and blurriness is annoying. Tinderbox is like candle source of environment. The current number of Tinderbox is shown in inventory. Press tab. Uh, ah! Okay. Feel better. All this will clear up once we get to a light source, I think. This is supposed to look like this. Hello? Anyone here? No, I've played this before. It's been about four, four or five years, though. It's been a long time. Hello? It's fine, I'm just being cautious, I'm not scared. Just being cautious. <laughs> no, sorry. No, just a, just a shirt. It was really low quality and I didn't like it. Okay, I'm sorry.
Okay. What? It was just a bad shirt. I was scared by its low quality. The stitching was bad. God, this this like constant roar of the camera is annoying. I forgot to I forgot to tweet the live. Hold on. I forgot to tweet that I'm live. I gotta be funny too. Okay, you gotta make a, you gotta make your tweets funny. All right. Live playing amnesia. I think I forget. It's so good because it's like amnesia. You get it? Oh, it's so good. I want to retweet that shit. I want to retweet that shit all day. That was that was fantastic. Ah, oh, nice cozy fire. I haven't seen this much wind in this tight space since Aunt Verna came into town. Okay, you need it. Okay, stop. Okay, stop with the freaking nasty, nasty. I like the, the insanity mechanic in the game. With dark vision. Uh, press F, turn on lantern. Motion blur on, I think it is. They they use that a lot to simulate the effects. No. Oh god. There you go. Tinderbox. I played this game before, it's been many years though. God, the teeth clattering sound. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Oh, God. Oh, that sound is horrible. A, one, a, a 1080. Um, I haven't got a second one to SLI yet, but I haven't really needed this second one yet. Oil. 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I'm not. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum. Find Alexander and kill him. His body is old and weak. And yours... Young and strong. I, oh, he will damn. Be no match for you. Mm. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. 
I have tried everything and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Descend into the darkness. Wait a minute. I forget who I am because I'm Daniel. And I'm descending into the darkness, which is the dark descent. Amnesia, the dark descent. <gasps> it all makes sense now. Wait. Where do I go now? Oh, oh, hi. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Lever it to me and I, I solved the puzzle. I missed the potions. Oh, I'm sorry, were they healing potions? This old castle is like falling apart wherever we are. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. God, that voice. I would just... I want to lie naked and be fed grapes while he just reads books to me. Just such a good voice. Oh, oil. Hello. Come here. Uh-oh. Is that are these rose petals? Because that's romantic. It's tough and pliant. It can only be torn can't be torn with hand or tools. It's like is this the, the hallway's hymen? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Scary scream over there, aka not going that way. Not big ass bugs. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. 
Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. Ooh. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Okay, so we were an archaeologist in our former life. Hello, door. Hello? Monster? No, no monster. Okay, we're fine. Oh god, hurry. 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 Oh, the chitter chatter, I hate it. Oh, Wilhelm's contract. <clears throat> I hereby be offering my full attention and services to Alexander Baron of Brandenburg. This contract will reign for a total of 30 years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander Baron of Brandenburg is to recommend my services at Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. We're no mouth of gutter. Okay. Whew. What was that? Did you hear that? Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Uh, at least you weren't triggered, though. Oh, hi. Hello, Tinderbox. Can I access Tinder with Tinderbox? Sorry. Oh my God, that was grandma. Shit, I just destroyed grandma's ashes. Chilling. Just chilling. Just playing music, though. What the hell?
I heard something, but I don't. God, the chitter chatter of the teeth is just such a horrible sound. Okay, open, open. What the? Well, yeah, let's just take a nap. 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting. For me. The precious. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. It's the precious. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Where I hear the music again. See a chest with oils. Could you stop playing the piano, Mr. Ghost? That's the stirp. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Hey. What's going on? You know, we're just... Just getting killed slowly by evil monsters of death, you know? Typical Sunday. Fragile, but not breakable by hand. Okay, let's see. How about, is this strong enough? Nope. <laughs> How about let's use, let's use our head. Okay. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful with that. I want that. Uh, come here. Come here. Uh. Gotcha. Okay. Uh -uh. I'll start in Brandenburg Castle, 1801. 
Another region rich with lore is Altstadt, deep in these Prussian woods. For centuries there have been stories surrounding the ham, oh ham, that sounds delicious. The hamlet and its neighbor called Brinnenberg. The quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is picturesque and can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of widespread spread superstitions. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It says the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, straying away from any beholder. They're called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling against damp burlap sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Henrik Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Alstadt to start the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice. He is mentioned in many records of the time. One day he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstad, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was the mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenburg lives in a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby. All said, like most of their noble birth, rumors of inheritance alongside the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. There is Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring have never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle, one of the great leaders of this country. I have a mirror on my forehead, yes. I rub oils on my face. All right, I'm looking for books to pull. Books. Got it. Perfect. Yes, my forehead, chat. It's covered in oil. I need, I need a makeup girl to just be like, to make it not shine. So I'm a bit shiny today. Although I hope I shine every day in your hearts. Ooh, a key. Why? Audio sounds a little... Okay, something, something was definitely back there. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watch fly in the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to further to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve, whatever comes first. 
they can rot for all I care. Maybe I'll feed them some wine. It should... It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. Okay. Uh, we had the lighting dark so I could make the screen dark for me. Otherwise, the screen's super bright and I can't see the game. Because it's, the game's really dark. And I'm in a bright room. And we're in a different office now. Did. I saw a naked man walking. Walking with high heels on, like. What? That sounded like me after the, the day after I had jalapenos. Go with the piano again. Okay. Let's go to the wine cellar. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Jesus, what the? Why is there flesh growing on the wall? What is it with? horror and having flesh grow on walls. It's like a very common motif that appears a lot. Like blobby messiness. Laboratory. Is that me talking or the past? It's confusing. Oh, Tinderbox, hello. Tender. The the lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients to store it. Some of them seem ineffective. But many are stained by fumes will be difficult to salvage. I should do what I can to move them into the wine cellar. Uh, this is a base amnesia report.
Save point. Chemistry pot. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpentant are given, and the culprit binds them as well. This time I'll, I'll attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis it, and hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acidic and proves impractical to put on any, any, to any of use accepted as a detergent. Organic tissues react violent, it reacts especially violent to the solution. It should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I'll find the alchemic solution in my predicament. Sound like I could use the acid to uh, throw it on that the hallway's hymen. Look. We need to find those chemicals. What, what the hell is that a T Rex? It's like it's a T-Rex like Rawr. Okay, let's go to the Cella Venaria. Use the key on it. Oh, there you go. Okay. Mine cell. Huh. <laughs> You'd be scared of such tiny hands. I don't think that's his hand. This is an icon. Okay, I'm. I need to be very careful. Where did the tyrant go? Who cares? He left us in a wine to last us a lifetime. Or at least until tomorrow. <laughs> okay, that's not cool. Hello. Tender box. Yes. Tender box. Jeez, barrel. Gow. Hey, I'm gonna get nailed in the face with a barrel. <gasps> God, the teeth clattering sound is just like. Ooh. Hold down left mouse button uh, while moving to do a strong push. Come on. Come on with the... I like how I, I just, I just uh, wasted a tender box on that torch and then they blew it out. Mean. 
Okay, slide. Ugh. Push. Oh my. Yeah, he said at the beginning our body is young and strong. I'm guess I'm guessing we're like the cover on one of those one of those romance novels that the ladies like to read. We're big, muscly, and burly. At least the stairs are fine. Alright, let's see what's over here. shut on its own. It's, I'm sure it's fine. Doors do that sometimes. Sometimes they like to creepily shut themselves. See, it's fine. It just they just decided, hey, I want to be closed right now. And I was like, okay, I respect your, I respect your life decision. Nope. Nope. I, I don't want to go in there anyways. Enemy is near. <laughs> Great. Fantastic. Stop it! Get my sanity under control. I'm gonna start yelling. Why is he just... Why is he standing there like an idiot? Okay, so I had to freak out for a second. Let's just sit here, relax under the candlelight, and just like, Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. We're fine. It's fine. He he went away. We're okay. He's gone. And I wasn't gonna bring it up, but I have to mention it now. He's naked. Not only is he a monster, he's a naked monster, and that's just inappropriate. And now I feel offended. Nope. <laughs> Orpiment? No, I, I, I have the right to never be offended by anything anyone says ever. That's the rule now, right? Thank you. 
evidence. Four chemicals create a powerful acid. What do I have? I ha I have three chemicals. Did I miss one? Yes, chill. Relaxing, relaxing. Okay. I must have missed one. No, I got that one. I got the one that was in this room, I'm pretty sure. It's gotta be the other side. I didn't go in here yet. What's happening? Oh, it feels like my chest is going to burst. Oh. My God, Wilhelm, do something! Except him. We're not getting out of here, Mark. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> okay, there's the last ingredient. Aqua Regia. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I played this like five years ago. It's been a long time. It's cool to see how uh, so many games have evolved using this as a base. Uh, Wilhelm's last words. My name is Wilhelm, House of Garrick. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I succumbed to the castle. I was summoned to the castle of Brennenburg. As most of the aristocracy, I was curious about what the supposed knight of the order could want from me and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honors I've been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position with the noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled to with, with my decision, but came swiftly and accepted old Ardley. Ever since that day, I've brought men, men, and men to Brennenburg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps uh, even a hundred. None of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes. I can no longer... What? Willem's a dick. He was hired to do a job, then he complains about it. God, the Baron is fine. He just hired him to do a job, and it was killer work, and he got what was coming to him. Just complain, complain, complain. Just gotta go upstairs now. Hey guys, it's scarce here. It is pretty scarce down there for you. Again with the flesh on the walls and spewing blood at me. Could, could you not please? Don't forget to butter up my pooper. <laughs> I can't believe that was added to the English version of Corpse Party. OK. 
Okay, where is... We need the laboratory. I think it's over here. Ah, relaxing, relaxing, relaxing. Oh, now we can work. Uh, four different chemicals you need to continue. Was that? Sound like Trump's poll ratings. I'm sorry. I was kidding. I was kidding. I'm, I apologize. You turn on the burners first. Okay, now we just turn them on, I guess. Oh, great! I made gr I made green stuff. As a Trump supporter, I will now unfollow, unsub, and unremember. Well, forgetting things for you is very simple as a Trump supporter. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, we gotta pick on Clinton too to even it out. You know, I, I emailed you, I emailed everyone in chat a free copy of this game. The code's in the email for you. But unfortunately, Clinton deleted them all. I'm sorry. Sorry, I apologize. Great. The stairs are gone. It's fantastic. Could I use planks? Dan, do another slam against her? Okay. She. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. It was a joke. Calm down. Don't get triggered. Uh, I need like a plank to stand on or something. It was a joke. Calm down. Relax. Have some fun. Oh, is the second debate today? Or is it soon? Oh, here we go. There. Perfect. all this fleshy stuff. Disgusting. Yeah, I played this years ago, though. Years ago. Okay. I'm sorry. Look away, guys. This hallway is no longer going to be pure.
Hyman gone. Refinery time. That is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Daniel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's, we're fine. It's okay. See more oil? Thank you. Stay shut. 22nd of June, 1831. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? Probably not. Uh, thank you for all the subs, guys. Uh, Pale Shadow, Meowzer. Thank you for the 666 uh, tip. Alestro says boo. I, Neopod, tipped. Uh, thank you for the resub. Uh, Petcalion, thank you for the sub. Mike and Frosty Cunt and Breaky Beak and I'm Kid, thank you for the subs, guys. That thing went, but I don't want to. I don't want to find out. Let's just avoid him, please. Block from the other side. It's not going there. Okay, tender box.
Jesus fucking god! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. It's okay. It's alright. It's fine. The blood bubble got me. Everything's like twisty twab, twisty turby right now. So he didn't bust through there. Why is why my character my character's going crazy right now? My sanity's at dot 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 right now. 25th of June, 1839. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care, and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Otherworldly properties. I thought that way about Snickers. It's too good to be from this world. What is... What's... Stop it! What is... Why is with the growling? Stop it! Okay, okay. Stop it! Something's clogging the crank 